Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are unboxing the BoxyCharm November base box. And I know I'm a little late, well, super late. I did get this box two weeks ago, but honestly, I took a peek and I wasn't inspired in doing a video and I'll tell you why. So let's get started. So when you open this box, we get this beautiful card, the BoxyCharm Harvest card, and we are variation number 53. It's pretty. The card is really pretty. So we'll keep that there. So first off, let's start with my choice item, which is the Gimme Brow. Nothing new. I knew I needed a replacement, and so I was running out of my old Gimme Brow, and so I decided to get this. And I usually use the color 4.5. That's like second to the darkest shade, I believe, and I got the 5 this time. Um, and I thought it wasn't going to work out, but it's not bad, so... There's the packaging, very nice. This is kind of like one of the best brow products in my opinion. They give you that hair-like strokes that no other brush can do. The brush is really unique compared to other brow gels that I've used, so definitely worth the money and I got it in my box for a cheaper price. Another item that I got is the Half Cake Game Changer 3 Lip fondants and these are three full-size liquid lipsticks i gotta say they are all colors that are very usable I love the packaging i mean i wasn't gonna keep it but it's too cute not to i've used the color bordeaux and low-key i think i'm gonna save the theme song this one is a very nudish mob i'm gonna save that for a giveaway but i've already used these two darker shades i do need more lippies right <laughs> for the holidays and surprisingly i thought these were gonna come off much lighter but the colors are more intense than what they look like on the tube so this one might bleed on you a little so you do need to pair it up with a lip liner this one is also very pretty but i find that it's a little patchy and it wears down a little patchy too so it's not my favorite lippies but i'm glad i gave it a try the next item is the jekka black liquid corrector 2.0 it's vegan friendly and cruelty free um and basically this is an under eye corrector and it's supposed to remove those dark circles prior to makeup it's very liquidy though and the tube is a little messy if you guys can see that you know it just squirts a lot of product out even if you just you're just gentle with it um so didn't really remove my dark circles that well so it's just okay next item is this 111 skin hyaluronic acid aqua booster so this is like a serum this is a very expensive brand and i'm glad i got it but i'm not gonna open it because i am actually working on a 111 skin um, antioxidant serum which i've been loving so i'm gonna pass on this for now and maybe put it in a giveaway next item i was very excited to get for Sally quench moisture replenishing serum i have been wanting to try for Sally products and i'm glad that i finally got one of these look at this packaging it's glass guys very pretty actually tried it already and it's a very very thick serum sorry i washed my hands to remove that jekka um, but it's still there it's a very thick serum and i think it's going to be very hydrating so i love that i got that i'm definitely going to use this for Sally one this entire winter season that is everything that i got and as you can tell i didn't get the natasha denona palette and that is one of the reasons why i kind of contemplated on not filming this video because boxy charm you did fail me <laughs> I don't want to be um, a sour grape, but I had a makeup profile and I was really, really counting on getting this Natasha Denona palette and I didn't. I was one of the few that didn't get it. Not hating on BoxyCharm, but 
I am sad. I feel like I missed out on something. And that doesn't happen often when it comes to BoxyCharm. So that is it guys. I'll have the pricing of each item here on the screen and the overall total of the box. Now remember, I only paid $25 for this box and we're expected to receive up to $125 worth of products. For Solly's skin kind of made up for the loss of the Natasha Denona palette. Um, otherwise, everything else is just meh. I'm glad I'm able to restock on the Benefit Gimme Brow. Otherwise, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely be on the lookout for more videos. I hope you and your loved ones are having a great Thanksgiving break wherever you are. And I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye.